Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC. We're here to put together B9. I have one back here on my Infinity. This is my newest dust boot design. It has the uh, V3 face part on there. Um, fits right into my standard Z independent bracketing and includes the biggest feature, the four and a half inch um, or the four inch uh, hose intake that has my mag lock um, system attached to it. Um, let's uh, go ahead and start assembling that. Um, I'm going to put together the slightly smaller or the, I guess the larger one. Uh, this is the smaller size. This is the 175. We're going to put together a 220. Um, so you can see the differences between the two. It's just basically larger. Um, and it depends on the machine you're using, determines which one you choose. Um, most people are probably going to need the 220. If you've got a Onefinity, even if you have the cable chain, uh, the 175 turns out to be the perfect size. It all depends on where the bracketing sits on the machine and all that. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into uh, assembling this thing. Mm. Okay, all you'll need to put this together um, as far as tools go is a two millimeter hex driver and a two and a half millimeter hex driver. Um, one will be used to hold, put all the uh, screws in for the acrylic. The other one will be used for the uh, wings, um, attach them to the side. So let's, uh, let me uh, go ahead and peel off all this acrylic protective paper. Okay, so here we are with the, uh, I've already pulled the acrylic off. I went and grabbed my uh, hose pieces, which I forgot are actually included in your kit. I didn't have them on the table here. Uh, but the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to do some gluing. Uh, let's, that way this stuff can dry on uh, when we're using it. Go ahead and grab one of the mag, uh, the mag rings, uh, split them apart, and uh, add some glue. It doesn't matter what type of glue. Um, I like to use the uh, gel super glue um, but you can use just regular super glue if you have that um, i have not tried it with ca glue but i don't see why that would not work but put a, a generous amount around the uh, ring we're going to take the uh, the joiner piece this is the piece with the uh, screws there um, you're going to notice the screws are on the inside here we want them towards the bottom so put the screws down because we're going to screw down into one of these yellow pieces here in a minute Screw put those screw points down, take the uh, maglock ring, and you'll notice that there are three screws. Have the one screw pointed straight at you and bring it, bring your, uh, align your mag ring so that the, on either side, either side is a screw. So kind of match that up the best you can and then set that aside so that that can glue. Next, we're going to take our uh, second mag ring and our four inch hose adapter. We're going to do basically the exact same thing. Put some glue on there. Uh, be generous. Don't, don't be shy. It's okay. We can clean up the uh, whatever oozes out. We want a good connection. We don't want these things falling apart. So. Okay. So take that. There's no orientation to this. Just put that on and allow that to dry. Just set that aside. Um, that'll take uh, probably about 10, 20 minutes to uh, fully cure. Um, just to allow that. At least this is the, the glue that I'm using, that is. So the next step we're going to take is we're going to take both of our uh, uh, yellow parts here. Now I include a couple of aluminum rods and you're going to shove those rods right down the uh, the opening here on either side of the sure, nice and even there. So we're going to push in the other side. Um, note that there is a little ridge here on the bottom, and that's the bottom. So this is the top, this is the bottom. So we're going to put the bottom face down. On this guy here, it's similar. However, there is um, some extra screw holes that we're going to be screwing into. So we've got our, our bottom piece here, and then we have our top acrylic piece. So we're going to take our 
hose here. Oop, sorry, pick that up. So <laughs> let me be clear. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heat inserts on one side. That's the top. On the bottom, there are only five heat inserts. So put the top up and then slide in the aluminum um, on both sides. It may be a little difficult. You just got to kind of slowly work them together until you get the whole thing together. So the idea is, is that aluminum will provide some additional strength uh, per, to prevent the bending. This is an assembly piece, so the strength comes after it's fully assembled. All of these screws in the acrylic and that aluminum help make these uh, help make the entire boot super strong by all of it coming together and working together as, as to provide that structural strength. So we've got our piece in here. Let's go ahead and flip it over so that we're looking at the bottom. And we're going to take our acrylic piece. This may be hard to see on the screen because it's kind of clear, but we're going to part that has the outer curve, um, not the one with the uh, with the two circles cut out of it. We're going to one have the one with the outside circle. So we're going to take that, drop that right down on the bottom. Now. Some of your, you may have your uh, couple notches here on the edges of your acrylic. Just make sure the those notches kind of point towards the plastic. Um, it'll provide a nicer, uh, a nicer connection or a, a look there. We're going to take a bunch of our screws. We're going to go ahead and put in all of, let's see, uh, four, eight, nine. We're going to put in all nine screws down here on the bottom. To hold this bottom acrylic on. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, now we're going to flip it over. We're going to take our other piece of acrylic here. We're going to set down, that down into place. Make sure those notches, those nicks in the plastic are towards the acrylic or towards the 3D printed. And then we're going to put these screws in. All right, while this stuff is still gluing, we're gonna set this aside for a moment. Let's take a look at the uh, face part. So the face part is gonna basically involve a couple of things. We've got the face piece here, which we're gonna take the acrylic, set it down into that little groove, and then add the screws here. The face piece, the, the acrylic face piece is slightly different than from the uh, V3 um, designs. The diameter of this inner hole is slightly smaller um, since most of this is going to be designed for our uh, spindle kit. So let me grab um, another pair of tools here. Got a uh, flush cutters. Um, you can use a knife, a box knife, or something like that. We're going to take our face piece, take our brush. And we're going to slide it into uh, see, oh nope this one can just be pressed down into place um, nice and easy there and we're going to make sure that it gets flush cut on both sides so that this uh, so that when this face piece matches up with our boot it's a nice um, flat connection there. Uh, hold on to this bigger piece. We're going to use this for the uh, boot here in a little bit. So now I've got the face piece. It is complete. There's nothing else to do with this machine, with this particular piece. So we're going to set this aside, go back to our boot, and let's take a look at. Let's see, has this enough time to glue? Yep, this is nice and solid. Um, this isn't going to go anywhere for us. So we're going to take our uh, piece, our, our our mag ring with our joiner piece, and we're going to set the joiner piece right down into place. Uh, you'll notice there's three more screws, and they go right into uh, the black joiner piece down into the boot. So we're going to take that and drop that right down into place. Provides a nice tight connection there.
Now, if you've aligned your uh, magnets to those screw holes on either side, then it should basically mean that there are two dimples on either side, which is our magnets over here. And then of course that should line up perfectly. And the idea there is so that the distance between here and here is the measurement of your boot. So in this case, this is the larger one. So this is 220 millimeters from the boot center, from the bit center, that's gonna be right in the middle of this circle here, all the way back to the edge of our um, mag ring here. On the smaller boot, uh, that distance is actually 175. So from here to here, it's 175. On the bigger boot, it's 220. Now, we're gonna take um, our uh, magnets next, and this is where we're gonna need the two and a half inch, or two and a half millimeter hex driver, because the screws included with this, with these magnets, are uh, socket head screws. So we're gonna drop it right down into one of them. Now there are four screws, uh, four heater inserts here. This allows these wings, when you mount these wings, you use just two of those, two of those heat inserts. And that allows you to move the wing forward and backwards up to um, 42 millimeters, if I remember correctly. That way, just in case you need to adjust it based on the bracketing or your goal, basically, whenever you align this, is to make sure that your bit goes right down the center in between uh, this acrylic circle here. So for now, I'm just going to mount it on a couple of the holes. It doesn't matter which ones. I'm just gonna use the, uh, just two of them is fine. Since we're just doing assembly, you're gonna probably uh, take this apart and put this back together, these wings, a couple of times before you finally get it correct for your bracketing. All right, switch over to the other side. So the very last thing we need to do um, on our boot here, on our, on our V9 boot. So we're gonna take our brush and we're gonna just slide it right into position here. Slide it all the way around. Of course, the further in you go, the harder it will be to push in, but just push it in until it pokes out that other side. There it goes. All right. Make sure that's nice and well seated. We can take our hex driver here and we can just kind of push it in into the track just to make sure it's well seated. All right, now we're gonna take our flush cutters or a box cutter and we're going to flush cut that on both sides. That way, when we take our face piece here, and we slap it right on. And of course, I forgot to put magnets in my, in my little sample here. I'm gonna go put magnets. Uh, but there should be four magnets on this, on the face of the boot, which will match up with the four magnets on the, in the face piece. And it's just gonna snap right into place. There's a couple of pins in the face piece, which will prevent uh, lateral movement. Um, and those magnets will help hold it towards the boot. So there we go. Last thing, of course, we've got our hose adapter. Now our hose adapter, you could just put a, uh, I designed this for the four inch ultra flex hose off from Amazon. You can just wrap that right on the outside diameter of this uh, hose adapter and then use a simple band clamp to hold that hose onto this adapter here. And then that assembly basically will slide right into the uh, boot. So your, your bit sits about here your gantry is going to be somewhere around here. Maybe a cable chain or something is going to be like right over here. And then, of course, you've got your boot that goes straight up, uh, your hose that goes straight up right into the arms of the very important uh, ultra hose clamp with the four inch adapter. Um, I mentioned it and linked to it on the website. But yeah, that is the uh, 
V9 assembly. All right, that is that completes the assembly of our V9 boot. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Reach out to us at PwnCNC, or support at PwnCNC.com. Um, and yeah, remember, don't just own your CNC, dominate it. Mm -hmm.